Welcome to Gunner, the only dwarf on Hoxies that might actually have some prior combat experience. Sorry to disappoint you drillers, but burning down all the orphanages in Chicago doesn't count as combat experience. Anyway, Gunner is by far the most team-oriented class in the game. Both your movement and utility devices can benefit the entire team, and as such, everyone will be telling you how to play your own character. Using a minigun? You're disgusting. All of your zip lines will go unused, and someone will always be simping for your shield, so equip your whiplash brace and be prepared to be the most loved and hated person in the mission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, friend, I'll protect you. Now, this may come as a surprise to you, but being the gun class means you are great at using guns on things. So, naturally, your proficiency lies in missions that need you to gun all over stuff. I know every mission has bugs pouring out of the proverbial woodwork and a chance to spawn a mini-boss of sorts, but I am referring to the missions that mandate boss fights. Your ability to unlife anything in front of your reticle and defend your friend's hemorrhaging corpse with a shield makes you near essential for battling these big bad bosses. Also, like 90% of the time on industrial sabotage, the cables lead to caves in the ceiling, so having a zipline for that is pretty cool. Your primary weapons are... big. Basically, anything you'd expect to see attached to the top of an APC. Starting with the Leadstorm Minigun, a rotating trio of barrels that can make bugs more holy than God themselves. And if you want a little more damage, you can embrace Overwatch one bastion and rivet your feet to the floor so you can handle the full firing power of 800 rounds per minute. By the way, there are methods for evading this encumbrance. Obvious ones include using your zipline or sitting on Doretta's thick apparatus. But you can also mount Molly and have her drag your broken legs through the battlefield while you mow down anything that still has a face. But maybe you want a larger caliber. With the Thunderhead autocannon, you fire bullets that are so large they create explosions on impact instead of holes. Nothing about this bullet's design indicates that it's supposed to be explosive, so I can only assume it's from its overwhelming girth. But what is supposed to explode is the guided missiles fired out of the Hurricane rocket system. These explosives will desperately try to annihilate anything under your cursor, but lack the autonomy to avoid hitting literally everything else. But if you wish to avoid that disappointment and just want a shotgun Glyphids, you can switch it to Salva Mode, ejecting your arsenal without guidance and obliterating anything with less HP than the refrigerator from Indiana Jones. But let's be real. The only reason you bought this weapon is so you can play with the rockets. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I love it. Now that we've seen your primaries, let's check out your Dreadnought Deleters. Which, I want to point this out right quick. Why is it that in this game when you are facing large enemies or bosses, more often than not you resort to your secondary? Usually in games, your sidearm is used as a last resort or bullet conservation, not your prime DPS. Ah yes, a large foe has arrived. Let me put away my handheld double-barrel anti-artillery cannon and pull out the real damage dealer, a Glock that I found in the Costco parking lot. Anyway. The Bulldog Revolver is a hand cannon that fires rounds so large that they can concuss enemies. Though, their victims probably won't survive getting impaled with the 26mm bullets that are laced with tetrodotoxin. But if you're looking for a bit more fire rate, let me show you the Burt 7. And yes, that unironically stands for... God, I love this game. This bitty burst pistol fires in bursts to burst down big boys bursting with bioluminescent biology. Now that I convinced, like, five people that they were having a stroke, let's talk about the last sidearm, the Arms Core Coil Gun. Unlike its predecessors, this weapon can either be used to make boss defeating a little easier, or it can be used to carve a tunnel through a horde and a little bit of the terrain behind them. This gauze pistol has potentially infinite range and is so powerful that bugs may have second thoughts about fighting the man armed with a surface terror missile turret and a railgun in his hands. Now for your grenades! It's a grenade. And a grenade. And a grenade. And a grenade. Wait, what the f? Oh, it's because you're gunner! Your grenade is a gun! Why? Anyway, that's your intro to the Gatling Gremlin, so pick up the biggest weapon you can find, equip your blindfold, and hold down mouse one. <coughs> Before you go, make sure you check out the community tab. Right now, there is a poll slash question bulletin for a potential Q&A coming soon. On top of that, in a few days, I'll be posting a poll for the next video game I'll be covering. Oh, and while you're at it, you should make sure there's a D at the end of this word. Okay, bye.